Still in business news, the group general manager of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Company Limited, Mili Kiari, has assured federal lawmakers that rehabilitation work is ongoing at the nation's refineries. Mili Kiari said this in Abuja at the investigative hearing of the state of the nation's refineries in the country. Emmanuel Ehijene report is presented from our studio. Kiari assured that the work is being with the Portacourt refineries and that the Kaduna and Wari refineries would be next. Um, and of course, uh, the only way you can do this is to take, uh, conduct a full turnaround maintenance. Uh, before I took responsibility, we shut down some of them for very obvious uh, uh, technical reasons. First, uh, the refineries, even if they do operate, they will take a $100 crude and produce $70 product. And there's no refinery anywhere that works this way. Refinery margins are very thin. And the reasons are very simple because uh, many of the plant uh, facilities and processing units are not uh, operating optimally. And because they are not operating optimally, you degrade value. And at the end of the day, you are better off not operating those plants until you are able to put them back into full uh, and functional uh, work. The GMD says the corporation understands the scope of work needed to put the refineries to work, which is why it has engaged competent contractors with technical competence. He said banks were also contracted to fund the project to ensure that the lack of funds does not scuttle the process this time around. Members of the committee at this point wanted to know the scope and cost of the rehabilitation. You are supposed to speak to your presentation, to your document. And this is what we have here. Quite frankly, everything you said just now is not available here. So even eventually, if Mr. Chairman and our colleagues needed to ask a question, I don't really know. Because what we have here is just big. There is nothing, no single thing about all the things you said in this presentation. That's the question, Mr. Chairman. He was supposed to speak to the document presented before us. The committee, however, gave the GMD a date to come up with the detailed information to the extent of the rehabilitation process so far. We are again here today as members of the National Assembly and representatives of our people with the constitutional duty to demand accountability from those in positions of authority on behalf of the people and nation Nigeria. The committee therefore provides this opportunity for the Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, the Group Managing Director, the operators of refineries and contractors to let us know the problems besetting our refineries. Recall that the House during plenary debate on the state of the nation's refinery called for in-depth investigations into the nation's comatose refineries, despite being one of the largest producers of fossil oil. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.